This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor version 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In my previous tutorial we covered basic brushwork, that is adding and subtracting brushes, duplicating and intersecting. But primarily I was using the cube brush, so today I'd like to focus on a neat little tool called brush clipping and it'll give you some variety to the shapes of your brushes without sacrificing the, the polygon count. Let's start first of all with our builder room. And then we'll open up a texture package. And the first trick I want to show you is this is how the texture browser looks by default, but it's a bit too small for me. So what I like to do is change the view. Right now it's a set size, but let's go with the variable size. And I mean, I'll show you at 100%, but sometimes you can go even bigger than that, depending on the size of your screen. So the advantage of this variable size is you will see how they truly are because these textures are 128 whereas these textures are 256. So you get a feel for what the designer of the texture intended this to be used. And also it's a lot bigger. And if you have a bigger screen, you could even go 200%. And now you can really get to see the details and the recurring patterns. So let me switch back to 100%. And we'll start with just a very basic floor. And now we're going to hit subtract. And this is our builder room. So the first thing I'll do is I'll build a very simple ramp that you see in a lot of UT maps. And uh, from that you can learn how to clip a brush. So let's take the cube tool. And there you can see the cube tool there. I'll just zoom in. Actually, I'll also turn on the joystick icon so you can see things dynamically as they change. And I will take this view here because I would like to do my clipping across diagonally across this way. And when you do brush clipping, you have to think of it as a sharp blade cutting right through your, your block of clay, if you will. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this icon, which is called brush clipping. Normally by default, you're gonna be using this icon, which is called camera movement. But just for now, because we're clipping something, we're gonna take this one so that it's selected. And now you'll see that the cursor has changed to a little clipping icon. And this is very easy. So in the window where you wanna make your cut with your blade, you're going to hold down the control key, uh, yes, the control key and left mouse button and click right on the vertex. So there's your first what we call pin. You need at least two pins to make a clip. So I'm going to take the mouse over here, again, control key, hold it down, and then left click right on that corner. And now you will see that diagonal line is where the blade is. The only problem is that this little line, which is called the normal, is facing downwards. So if I were to make this cut, it's going to chop off this bottom part. I don't want that. I want to chop off the top part. So come over here to this icon, which says flip the normal. And now you will see that this little, this little line, which is called the normal, has flipped outwards. So now if I make the cut, it's going to chop off this top piece. So you come over here, and here is the, the button for it, which says clip the selected brush. And there you go. So now, remember, you have to go back to camera mode. So click on this icon. And now you can, I'm just going to rotate the camera so you can see that I've now created a nice little ramp. Uh, let's take a different texture. So you can see it better. 
and now I don't need the pins anymore so let's just get rid of them this is the icon here it's called delete clipping markers so let's get rid of that and now let's add our ramp and for some reason which I haven't been able to figure out this texture doesn't copy over so you have to click on it right click and then apply that texture and now you're fine so this is our first ramp so let me uh, first of all click on the wire frame and get that out of the way and then take this piece you can see let me just get down there and first we're gonna move that brush down to the floor so you can see where it is and then I want to move it over to the wall into the corner so as you can see in all three viewports it's aligned to the floor now and now you have to click build again because you've reset the position of this brush so you come up here I only need to build geometry and there's the first ramp so if you can imagine, I want to build a little ramp that goes up here and then continues on this wall. So all you need to do is, while this brush is selected, right-click on it, hit Duplicate, and now I have the second one. And then come over here to this icon, which is Brush Rotate. Click on that. So the very it's very easy to rotate this brush. You hold down the Control key and the right mouse button and then you just swing and you keep rotating until it's perfectly perpendicular which is like there then always remember go back to camera mode and now control key and your left mouse button to move it into the right spot and as you can see it's on the floor but I don't want that I want this to be a little bit higher so let me show you in this window here hold down the control key and left mouse button and drag it up that's where I want it to be and again hit the build geometry button so you can see the progress so we're almost there I now need one little block to fill out this gap here so we take our normal tool which is the red wireframe change the attributes so this is going to be instead of 256 384 And I'll move it over and as you can see it's not oriented properly so I need to rotate it so go back to brush rotate mode control hold down the control key hold down the right mouse button and rotate it over so that it's perpendicular go back to camera mode and put it properly in the place and as you can see it's too high up so I have to drag it, drag it back down to the floor, like that. Now you can click on Add, and that's the third brush. So again, you have to hit Build Geometry, and it's fine. So let me move out the red wireframe out of the way so you can see the ramp better. And you can see that there's some issues here with the alignment of the textures. That's because I've used three different brushes to make this ramp. So what you need to do is hold down the control key, left click on each of the three surfaces, right click, align, wall direction, that's the first piece, and then right click again, align, wall panning. And now you can see that these textures are perfectly aligned. And now we have to do the same thing with the floor. So one, hold down the control key, two, and three. Right click, align as the floor. And now you can see that they're aligned. And let's see this in the game. Let's add a light. Actually, let's add a couple lights, so I'll add one over here a little bit up and then I'll add another light higher up let's say 
around there so you get a good view from it on the top like so so we've got our lights and now you must have one player start to test this out navigation point in the actor class browser select player start let's throw a player start right here and just to show you the player start has a little arrow which will show you the direction that the player faces when they spawn so right now if he spawned he'd be facing the wrong way so again go back to brush rotate control right click hold down the right mouse button and rotate it over and then back to camera mode and let me just move it over a little bit so you can have some running room so we have our player start our ramp and our lights so this time you can hit this button which is build everything and then you hit the joystick button to try it out and there's your ramp so you can use this clipping technique for all sorts of things ramps wall supports ceiling beams light fixtures houses anything where you need some variety in your shapes and you, d you just don't want plain cubes all over your map so hopefully that uh, was helpful to you the next video i do will be about the two-dimensional shape editor